Actually, my granny, my grandmother, she brought uh, some coffee plant thinking that she can have tea from the plant called coffee. Because even today in Nepal, we have a tea culture. And very few people they drink coffee, but among the uh, very few, the majority drinks Nescafe. They think this organic coffee is not coffee because they say it's bitter and it doesn't dissolve in water, in hot water, so it's, you know, it's not a coffee, you know, actually. So that's why my grandmother, she thought, like, she can have tea from the plant called coffee, so then she planted some coffee plant. And we had a guy uh, from Northern California, and he, he, he stayed here, and then he wanted coffee. So my dad, he thought, oh, guy from US, I will give him a good coffee, you know. So he went down to bazaar and buy a Nescafe and serve him, but he didn't like it, you know. He just threw the cup and plate down in the garden and said, look, you have the real coffee in your garden and you give me this. This is not a real coffee, you know, it's only the flavor of coffee. So my father realized, oh, yes, my mom, she used to say that, like, you can have this sort of drink from the plant called coffee, you know. And then my father became more uh, curious and then he visited the, uh, the you know, the, the place where the coffee was firstly introduced in Gulmi, like in Apchaur. And then he got the idea and then he also went to the district agriculture office and started doing professionally, you know. So when we uh, plant the trees, uh, the coffee plant, uh, after three or four years, it starts giving the beans, like fruit. So then, uh, after that, when it is ready, we have to go to the garden and get the red one, you know. So that's why it takes time, you know, from middle of September till the end of February, you know. So then, at first, we pick the beans and then, before we used to, uh, we used to have like dry processing system. That means we pick the beans and then we just dry them on the naked sun and then we process it. But now we have uh, the new process that is called wet process. So we have to pick the beans and then within 24 hours we have to pulp these beans. That means we have to remove you know, the, skill, uh, the red skin you know? and then we have to put for fermentation because when we remove this red skin the beans are really slippery and sticky. You know? So we have to put for, uh, fermentation for 24 to 48 hours and then we wash them and then we dry them on the sun. And the, those beans should be well dried. That means the moisture of the beans should come down to 30 to 40 percent, and it's good for further proceeding, you know. And after that, uh, we we uh, put a black machine over there. That's called hollow machine, and we remove that uh, white skin again, and we get the green beans. And when we get the green beans, we have to grade it like the broken one, the good one, you know, we separate it and then we separately roast them. Before we used to roast uh, outside in the fire, like in a pot, but now we roast in the machine so we can roast like 10 to 15 kilo in half an hour. And we can roast the beans in light, medium and dark uh, as the test preferences of the customers. The longer you roast, the more stronger you get. And then after that we grind it and then we do the packaging or either we can make a coffee. C'est la voyage de Pacha Salvi, Château la Vidéogne. Abonnez-vous à la chaîne car elle est disponible. Vous pouvez aussi nous suivre en photo sur Instagram et sur Twitter. Tchis